Occasionally the machine will need to be calibrated. So let's walk through the calibration function. From the home menu, select options. Under the settings section, you should see zero point calibration dimple track key. This calibration is for the stepper motors. When you do a zero point calibration, it establishes a new home position for the stepper motors. As a result, it will clear all calibrations for the clamps and mobile tracer. If you're using the machine in a mobile application, remember that the machine you have mounted in your vehicle is feeling every bump in the road that you are feeling in the driver's seat. As a result, it may need to be calibrated more often. Here are the steps to do a zero point calibration. Select zero point calibration, tap start, You'll be prompted to read the manual. Once you've read through the process, select OK. It will show you how to load the jaw. <clears throat> You're going to do the O1RA first. Notice it'll tell you to close the jaw surfaces. We're going to use the O6T tracer, which I've already loaded. Carefully clean the clamp. Make sure there are no shavings. Close the shield and press start. It prompts you to, say, to remind you that the operation will delete all dimple track key calibrations. Remember to calibrate clamps once again. Asking you if the proper clamp is installed, press start to begin. <laughs> Once this is complete, tap yes to save the data. It says zero point calibrated done. Now that we've completed the zero point calibration, we have to recalibrate all of the jaws in the mobile tracer. So select calibration. And we're gonna first calibrate clamps, dimple track keys, since that's what I have installed on the machine. I'm gonna select the O1RA with 106, 107. Press start. Again, you'll be instructed to read the manual. After you've reviewed the process, press OK. Press start. It's gonna ask you, is the proper clamp installed? Did you install the O6T tracer? Start to begin. Once the process is complete, tap yes to save your data. Saving completed. Notice the checkbox where it says clamp calibrated. So now that clamp is calibrated. Next we have to calibrate the mobile tracer. Notice the box is unchecked. So I'm gonna press start. Again, it's gonna instruct you to read the manual. Okay. I'm gonna raise the hood. It uses this same jaw combination, but in this case, I have to lower the mobile tracer since that's what we're calibrating. Lower the shield, press start. Do you have the clamp installed? Yes. Start. <laughs> Save the calibration. Calibration completed. Notice the box is checked. Next we need to calibrate clamps 
standard keys. Notice the box is unchecked. So I'm going to raise the shield, raise the mobile tracer out of the way. We have to remove the O1RA and install the O1VA. I'm going to press start. It's going to tell you to read the manual. Once you've reviewed the operation, press OK. Now notice in this shot, it's telling you to use clamp side A. So I'm going to rotate this to A. But it's telling you to use a Z3 template. In your toolbox is a Z3 template. You load this template key in jaw A using stop zero, which is the shoulder stop. Lower your shield, press start. It's asking you, do you have the proper clamp and the right clamp side? Yes. Is the Z3 template installed? Yes. Start to begin. Save the data, saving completed, notice the box is checked. That's all there is to it. An important point here is you use the O6T tracer to do all of your calibrations. Don't forget to take that tracer out. If you attempt to cut a key and you still have the tracer in, it's going to break the tip right off.